Hey guys, Matt and Oscar checking in and today we are back at Darlington we're going to go and um, see if my phone's ready to pick up and maybe ask a few questions and see if they got anything to say uh, over there is where I got arrested police yard Taking some pictures over there. That's where they got me. So anyway, I'll have a walk around the front of the station, and I'll be right back when we get there. Are you alright if you're on this video that I'm doing? Really? Are you alright if, you, if you're if you on the video? I don't mean I'm going to film you just in case you're in the background. No, I'm bored. Just in case you say, alright. <laughs> My beds. I've been waiting a while. Yeah, yeah. I still haven't heard that yet. Ah, right. It's a big story going on with me on YouTube with regards to these, like you have to check it out. <laughs> yeah. Absolute douchebags they are. Oh, yeah. I'm going to absolutely leather them in court. Right there, yeah, I've heard the dodgy, dodgy lot round here, so I came to pay him a visit, and lo and behold, I got arrested and we got locked up for oh. taking a picture of the police car. Nope, I shit you not. Yeah, have a look at it on YouTube, Darlington Police, just type it in, it'll come straight up. There's like 27,000 people in it, and they're going mental. Alright, yeah. Right, I've checked our internal storage to see if it's got it from our outside storage. Yeah. It's not in there. Um, I've checked his like work area where they normally keep stuff. It's not in there either. Right. So it may be uh, he's gonna best thing to do is get through tomorrow. He's in tomorrow. He's on night or five. Right. Not I'll have to give him a ring then. Can you just let him know I have come in in person to speak to him. Yeah. I've come quite away to speak where, to where him. Where have you come from? Cumbria. Oh right, you're from Cumbria. Yeah. Um, what? I've phoned him many a times and he he said that he would have it for the other weekend. But what was the phone seized for then? Because I took two photographs of the police cars out the back. Oh, okay. And he said that he was arresting me for antisocial behaviour and terrorism charges. Yeah. I've been in touch with Jo Farrell, and oh. she's put in Darren Walton on the case, Chief she Inspector Darren Walton. Yeah, okay. yeah, he said he's going to try and sort it out. Also, my MP as well, because it was it was like an unlawful arrest, false imprisonment, etc. Oh, it was yeah. over two photographs of the police cars. And there's 27,000 so people following this. The investigation then? Have you been charged with it? It's, it's an ongoing, ongoing investigation, ongoing. yeah. Right. Well, obviously I can't comment on that because I'm not investigating. No, it's fair enough, so yeah. yeah. If you've referred it to the chief uh, constable and she's then yeah. referred it to somebody else to look into it, I can't comment on yeah. that. Uh, I can speak to PCL who's in tomorrow about what's happening. He can perhaps get an update and yeah. then let you know what's happening. He has been, uh, since it's happened, I, I will admit he's been fair with me. He's, he's returned the calls and stuff. He's, keep us updated but it shouldn't everyone knows i mean there's a lot of people following this story everyone knows it shouldn't have been taken right, okay. and um basically i just really would like an apology and it returned as soon as possible and i'm quite happy to leave it at that it's um because there's right. a lot of nonsense going on yeah but that, that that's okay. uh, that's i understand that's yeah. ongoing but it's again that's just a a bit of a circus that to be honest with you yeah. So uh, everyone's aware of it. Like I say, my MP Simon Fell, he's also said he's going to find out what's demand a full explanation, try and get me for property back. Well, I'll probably leave it in their hands, and if you've got someone representing it in relation to well, that's the right. Case, yeah, that's, yes. Um, did you? Well. It's gone. Gone to the police station here. It is a memo from the chief of police from the Met with regards to his taking pictures. Yeah, it has been sent. Can you just okay. can you confirm that that? The I'm officers sorry, have had a look at that. Me. Yeah, it's live yeah. streaming. Yeah. Which is fine. Yeah. But I'm not going to be making any comments on something I'm not too sure about. All but right. Yeah. Been referred to higher up the chain of command. No, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not. I don't understand so that. That's cool. I'll, I'll, I'll wait for that. Yeah. Yeah. That. It's just, it's just with regards to the um, the memo. It's just 
gone out yeah, for we're not photography. Yeah, right. Yeah, but I need I need to know if I can, I'm going to take some pictures outside, like I did do. I got arrested for. I just and there's a memo gone out to this station right. saying that I have to be left alone. And have to be left to well, take Roger, pictures. Is that memo is on the, uh, system there, it's right? gone to every single police station across the country okay, because of what's been happening. Who, who that gone from? The chief of police from the Met. Uh, it's to not engage with photographers if they're taking pictures of any police, police vehicles, or police interactions. And this right. station will have had it. So, is there any police staff available at the moment, just so I can let them know that I'm going to be taking pictures well, most of the police, police guys? Right. So there's none on duty that I can have a word with just to confirm that I'm not going to get arrested for doing that. Okay. I'll go and check on that uh, and I'll, um, I'll check with the duty inspector to see if that's the case. Is the duty inspector here now? He is, but he's busy at the moment. He's obviously doing reviews down custody. Right. Could it, would he be able to come and talk to me as to whether I can I take can pictures? bring it to his attention and see whether he's available or not. Right. Well, yeah, if he lets me know, then I can do it. And right. then I can say, if I go and do it and someone tries to pull the same stuff as last time and I get arrested, then... I've been in here and I've asked to speak to him and if he's not come out then fair enough but I just want to confirm that there'll be no yeah, trouble. All right yeah if you just go and have a word I mean let me let know if you can tell me whether what the crack is with regards to that please. Cheers. Just with regards to where we stand with the police do you want cars. To do this in here in public or do you want to come through? Yeah, I'll come through if you want yeah. Bring the cup with you. Um, Are you uh, recording? I am, yeah. It's right. just for my own safety. For your own safety. Can I yeah. ask you not to record in a police station because you might pick up sensitive material that we'll right. be broadcasting? Uh, no problem. It's just a quick... Well, I'll, I'll leave then. It's just a quick question with regard to taking pictures of the police cars. Okay. Um, what's the score with that? Cause I don't know. What do you mean, what's the score with it? Am I going to get arrested for it? Um, do you want to pop that through there then? You'll have to be a little bit more, you'll have to be more detailed, what do you mean, you'll get arrested for you. And I get, if I take some pictures of the police cars, the marked vehicles, will I get arrested? Um, generally, no. Right. Well, what? Well, I just, I did last time, that's all. Right, okay. And, um, there's an investigation ongoing with regards to me ter to commit terrorism. Right. It's been followed by my MP, um, Darren Walton. And 27,000 people following my story on YouTube. If you have a look at the video, you'll see that everyone's seen it with regards to my arrest. I was arrested. Okay, I'm, I'm not disputing that at all. Yeah. But how can I help you? So, am I allowed to take pictures of the police cars? Um, there's nothing to stop you photographing the police car under normal circumstances, no way. Right, so that means I shouldn't have been arrested the first time. You're not giving me the full circumstances, are you? Yeah, I just what I'm going to do now, just taking two pictures of the police cars, that's all. Right, if you're just taking pictures of police cars, yeah. then there's nothing more to it than that, yeah. and the police cars are parked on the street. Oh, I'm not allowed to take pictures in the yard then? Um, as you can well appreciate, a police yard contains a number of vehicles. Police vehicles, private vehicles, yeah. sometimes vehicles that you don't want recognising as police vehicles. But they, they have registrations, they shouldn't have registrations if you don't want them recognising as vehicles. Well, every car that's on the road has Exactly, to have and there's, there's a reason for that, because it's publicly available. Right. There, there might be some vehicles in the backyard that we don't want associated with the police, but right. for that reason, we would not... Um, but that, that's nothing to do with terrorism. That's just a personal preference. Well, it's not a personal preference. They're in the backyard for a reason. Yes, but it's not it's against the law. That's what I'm saying. It's not against the law. This is what I've been talking about with my solicitor, right, Ian Gold. That's, that's what I'm telling you. You're yeah. asking me if it's all right to, uh, to photograph police cars. Right, is it and okay I'm to... I'm saying yes, yes. What about police cars in, However, the, in the yard? as a member of the public, to assist the police in, to do their job properly, yeah. we would appreciate it if you didn't. Right. So they am allowed, though. But you'd appreciate it if I didn't. You see, if but, you'd have asked me the first no time, I would have... circumstances, yes. Y yes, I'm allowed. Under normal circumstances, if there's nothing more to it than that. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's just the same as it was the first time, that's all, yeah, yeah. However... I've got a lot of videos on YouTube where I do the same thing, so it, it, it shows that I do it repetitively, right, so just filming the, the police the, cars. The, the thing that's concerning at the moment yeah. is that we're in an environment 
where terrorism is at the forefront of everybody's mind. Right. As far as we're concerned. There's no, no terrorist the incidents at police stations. Maybe on a train. I don't get right. stopped from filming trains. Before, before the um, bombing in Manchester at the arena, was there a bombing at a Manchester arena? No, but no, that, it's packed with public time, people, it? isn't it? It's it, not... was, it was the first time that that happened, though, wasn't it? Yeah. So there's a first time for everything. Right. right. So in that case, that first time happening. right. So you wouldn't leave the house because there's a first time for everything. A meteor could land on your head. You wouldn't well, get out of bed in the morning. Ridiculous with that. Aren't no, you? that this is ridiculous. With a film, we're, we're taking we're pictures talking, of a police station. We're talking about realistic possibilities. It's not realistic though. It, it's far but from realistic. Thought the bombing uh, 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 an arena full of kids would be realistic. I it's obviously wouldn't. that's what they would do. Really? It's packed full it's of obvious, people. Is it? Yeah, that's you what a terrorist would do. Yes, obviously, and they would target trains. Disagree. Etc. Anyway, how can I help you? Right, am I okay to take pictures of the police cars in the police yard? Under normal circumstances, yes. Am I allowed now or not? Under normal circumstances, yes. What more do you want me to say? Just a if, simple if you yes. If deviate from that in any way, shape or form, we would have to reconsider. But Just a simple just, yes, that's all it is, yeah. Well, it's innocent videos. You can see my videos on if YouTube. If you're asking a question and you want a simple yes, you're not really asking a question, are you? Under normal circumstances. Yes, under not all well, that's all I'm doing. Just it's for just for videos for YouTube's. Then what more do you want people to want say? them. That's all. As long as you uh, confirming that there's nothing wrong with what I was doing. That's all. I don't want any. I've, I've not said that at all. I don't want to be arrested. That's all. I like I was last time. That what you did last time was right or wrong. Right. No, that's all right. Yeah. Well, it's just the same as what I'm going to do now. So hence why I'm a bit concerned about getting arrested again. So you'll forgive me, but you've done it once. Yeah. You've been arrested. Yeah. You've been investigated for it. Yeah. Why on earth would you want to do it again? Because it's an absolute circus and it shouldn't have happened. And everyone well, why knows don't, that. Why don't you wait until the investigation? Because I don't complete. need to. My solicitor has told me I don't need to because it's not part of my bail conditions not to take pictures of police okay. cars. And so it's, if, if you do get arrested, who's to blame for that? If no, it will be used to blame for that because I've been told by my solicitor Ian Gold, you need to look into him I that I am al I'm lawfully to allowed to do it. Do you realise that the police can arrest on suspicion? You've got to have reasonable suspicion. Reasonable suspicion. Yeah, and that's not reasonable suspicion. Photography it's, alone. It's my decision whether it's reasonable Photography suspicion alone is not reasonable right. suspicion. And I believe that your police I, station. Like I said photography alone with no, no, no issues. That's, that right, that's no problem then. That's all I was doing last time. If there's more to it than that, then obviously that may formulate some kind of suspicion. That's right. But if you, fair enough if you had more to it than that. But if not, then that's fair enough. But there wasn't anything made more to it last time. That's that's your stance and you're perfectly entitled yeah. to it and as I said the investigation will take in its course yeah. and at the end of it we'll have a decision. If that decision is to test the evidence at court, I would love that. Then that's where me and my solicitor would love that and so would my viewers. My viewers would love that. Are to test evidence. If we decide that there's no chance to answer it, then that's so be it. Yeah, well, I would love to see that go to court. Uh, yeah, so Again, I'll just take some pictures, just from my YouTube channel, um, and that's it. Okay. There has been a memo sent to the police station from the chief of police saying to leave photographers alone if they are photographing police stations, photographing p police personnel, or photographing police cars. Under no circumstances do you engage with them. That is the memo you have got. I think you'll find under no circumstances you're not. Remember, right, okay, under no circumstances. But you've been told not to engage with photographers taking pictures of police cars, police vehicles, police but stations. Why am I here now engaging with you? Just to confirm that you're aware you're, of that you're and I'll be. You're, you're photographing me, you're videoing me, you're yeah. videoing this interaction. Yeah, that's right, yeah. But why? Just so I can confirm it, because obviously there's 27,000 people when, when following this. You said that it's for your own protection? Yes, that's right, yeah. You're, Live streaming you're, for my you're own in, protection. You're in the middle of a police station with a police officer. That didn't stop you're me last time. as safe as you can get. No, 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 no. no yeah, it's far from, from, what? What from being unlawfully arrested, falsely imprisoned. Who says it's unlawful? You'll find, I'm sure you know that, and if you don't, you're, you're really delusional about it. Well, you, you, have enough, you will all find that out right. very shortly. People have different opinions on certain matters. Right. Your opinion is that you were arrested unlawfully. It's the opinion of a heck of a lot of people. Just you because... You have nothing to do with it. Just, it doesn't... Your YouTube oh. thing, 
I don't know whether they're legally trained or not, or what sort of input they've got. They certainly weren't where you were when you were arrested. That's there no problem. I've, I've explained this. People watching what was well, when they see when they see the body cam that I've requested. Come from what you've told them. Yeah. And I'm sure that with the best will in the world, you'll have given them your version of events. I told them what happened. Exactly your what happened. Version of what happened. It's what happened, and it's on the body cam footage. So All right. I'm quite happy for that to everyone to see that. <laughs> uh, more than happy to stand and talk all day if you want to, but I no, no, I'll be on my way. No. But like I say, there's no issue with photographing police cars, police stations, things like that under normal circumstances. That's if right, they're yeah. on the street, or if they're in the yard, it's fine. legal too. If they're in a police yard, and you're just taking pictures, it's fine. Enter that police yard. In I, any yeah, way, yeah. Shape oh, or yeah, form, fair enough. Yeah, that's trespassing. Yeah. Then yeah, but I didn't last time, and again, that's on the body cam footage. Okay. So. so, do you know where the um, the boundary of the police yard is at the back of this station? Yes, where the gate is. Where the gate is? Or yes. Prior to the gate? No, because people can cross that road. I've been through it all with my solicitor. I know where I'm allowed to stand. I've researched it today. You are sure of your you where you You're allowed to stand on the pavement and take videos right. and pictures. Check. I know that. The pavement. It was a pavement. Right. And it doesn't matter even if it was, it's still you could still take pictures from the yard, whatever. There's no no trespassing, like nothing. I have no qualms with you taking photographs of police officers, police cars, police stations, things like that. If you've got nothing better to do than that, then fill your boots up. It's great. It's a lot of people are interested in it. If you deviate from that, you Right, is there anything else I can help you nope. with? Nope, so I'm going to take some pictures, yeah, right. of the police cars. Okay. And uh, just make sure you keep your dogs on a lead. You've got nothing, I haven't got any dogs. Where are my dogs? Yeah, uh, they're out the back. It's like I say, it's a lawful activity. Yeah, you're, you're delusional. The, the police have been, I'm not delusional. Well, you a lot of delusional. Have you seen dogs at the back of the station? You're not have, even, you're not even funny. any police dogs at the back of the station? Not this time, no. Did you see any last time? There might be. There might be. There might be, yeah. I'll so, tell you now, there are no dogs at the back of the police station. Right, oh, okay then, no problem. Just in case there are. But yeah, like I say, I'll be taking some pictures and I expect to be left alone. We'll leave you alone if that's the right thing to do. Well, it is the right thing to do, yeah. We'll decide. Right, I, I will do it and I will be left alone. Would you? Yes, I, I will do it and I will be left alone. Would you? I, I will do it and I will be left alone. Would you? I, I will do it and I will be left alone. Would you? Yes, I, I will. Yeah. I will be. Right, so he's basically insinuating that if I go and take pictures around the back that I might be arrested again. He's trying to throw that out there, so we will go around the back and take some pictures. Not. So. Have they learnt their lesson or not? What do you think there? Is he still being cocky? I think he was, wasn't he? But you obviously know they're against the ropes. So, anyway, let's have a look around the back. Right, so here we are at the police yard, and I'll give you a shout if anyone comes out. Right, so I've done 10 minutes at each entrance, no one's been out, not even seen anyone, so it's like 2 degrees and it's freezing, it's safe to say no one's going to come out and see out. So I'm going to head back to the car. We're going to go and do a prison that's about half an hour drive from here and we'll post that another week. So I'll keep you updated with regards to what's going on here with Darlington and my phone. I'll let you know when anything else happens. Catch you later guys.